In Affinity 3, you can quickly add texture to any image, PC or Mac. First thing to do, just go over here and select the rectangle tool. Click the document and drag and create a rectangle, something like this, slightly smaller than the image itself. I'm using black. Once you've done that, go over here to the Layers panel and find that in the Window menu, General and Layers. And then go here and simply select this one, the rectangle, and drag down onto the background or any other layer, of course. And then make certain it's all blue, and that will be place inside, and release. Then go up here to Pixel, Filters, and then use a variety of different effects. I'm just going to go Distort and Glitch, but you could use Blurs, Twirls, etc. So Glitch, and let's go with this one, Shred. Just go with the horizontal strength, and you see as you do that, vertical strength and pixel spacing, you get an effect like this. Once you've got that, click Apply. You can't see the image at the moment, but what you can do is go here to Layers again, down the bottom, click Effects, click there, and then go to 3D, turn that on, and change the radius. Scale with Object, set that on down there, and go to Fill Opacity, and reduce that down to zero. As you do that, you'll get this effect and you get the image, you can see that clearly now. Click close. Once you've done it, you can also apply the effect again. So you can always go to pixel, filters and repeat glitch, or maybe go and select a different one. But repeat glitch and repeat glitch, I'm applying it a couple of times using the shortcut to create this quick effect. What you can also do is go to effects over here, click here again, and here you can go to 3D, and you've got options here for different profiles. So click here and select maybe that one or that one or that one. This is just a standard set of profiles, but you can also just manipulate it like that to create different designs, different textures, super quick and close. Again, you can repeat that command, that command control L, which is just repeating the texture effect to create a different design. You can also go over here with the move tool and you can select and drag and then resize the document, maybe make it smaller, bigger, and also move it around like that. But also you can hold down the Alt or Option key and duplicate it to create additional layers like that, to create a variety of different textures super quick in Affinity 3. If you've got any questions or thoughts, please let me know in the comments below. Bye.